Massimo Capra. Give him a big hand. They like you and uh, you like them. I a love tomatoes. Tomato, yeah. right? That's the only time of the year I eat tomatoes is right now. Do you ever just do a tomato sandwich with a little bit of salt? Absolutely. With some mayo? But I put mayonnaise on mine. Of course you yeah, do. I, That's you the way me. to do it. Exactly. Yeah, with some but good bread. You know what? Carson touched on a lot of good points. And uh, growing tomatoes is fantastic. And I made this mistake this year because I moved into a new home. Yeah. And I don't have a garden and I don't know where to put it. And somebody told me, oh, no, you can grow them in, uh, in pots. And uh, they didn't. I have one right. tomato per plant and I, I'm done with it. They're finished. Yeah. So, it's yeah, not working nothing out. Else growing. They need space That's and they right. need time. Ex exactly. They're sort of a, they're a, a, a very independent plant. Exactly. Right? And uh, you know what? Traditionally, I do not eat tomatoes any time of the year other than now because they are local most yeah. of the time and they're beautiful. They're tasting. If you can grow your own, by all means, do it. Yeah, now, absolutely. What, uh, what one thing that we have learned uh, in, in Italy is how to better use the tomatoes for what they really are. So, I mean, a simple salad of tomatoes yeah. with a touch of cheese and little olives. Maybe the onions, since the tomatoes don't mind onions. Yeah, we'll they get put along these really in as well, well together. And we have this uh, little bread over here that it looks like a bagel, right? Yeah. And it's a southern Italian uh, uh, thing. When in the old days, when they used to bake bread in, in, in ovens in the middle of the square, okay. and people were given a, a lot of time to bake, and they would bring this thing here to bake in in that oven because this one is completely dry. I mean, you can feel it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, okay. it's hard as a rock. It's right? also a very good eye patch. So it's See long that? lasting. Exactly. Phantom of the Opera. So, yeah, so do you want it to be this That's hard? right. And this is like whole wheat bread. There is actually barley and uh, white flour and uh, whole, whole wheat flour yeah. and water only. Okay. So, and it's this naturally has got fermented. This is very so good for your digestion oh, because this is, is going to take all day to get through your body. Exactly. If you're dieting, eat this kind of bread. That's right. right? And, and uh, this is eaten uh, almost everywhere. It used to be eaten almost everywhere in southern Italy and yeah. uh, dressed in many, many ways. But tomatoes is absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, what you do is you take this and Are you have plain fresh water. water. That makes okay, sense. Okay, and you soak it. Did you tell them what this is called? Uh, this is Frisella. Frisella. Or Frisella, or uh, maybe other it. names. Uh, there is, uh, you know, one recipe per town. So yeah. you normally let it soak for about three, four minutes. Okay. At least, okay, but we don't have that kind of time. Get here. some moisture so in there. Then it's you just put a Frisbee. A, exactly. You put it on a towel and you, yeah. let it, and you let it drain really, really well. All right. So now your next step would be to take a plate, put it on the plate, leave it be. There's nothing else to do. Okay. But chopping some tomatoes. So look now, at this tomato. Exactly. I had a dwarf uh, uh, little tomato plant with a lot of cherry tomatoes, and they came uh, ripe, and I ate them. They were fantastic. So I'm not opposed to using cherry tomatoes in this recipe. Okay, good. Uh, including all of his water. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that is what you're aiming for, for this particular recipe. Because it needs now, the moisture, doesn't it? Take a tomato like this. This is a heirloom tomato. This is my favorite yeah. uh, tomato because I can actually cut it cut the bottom because the skin is always a little bit hard. Right. And uh, nice chunks, so they come out nice and cubed. Look at that. Know? That almost looks oh, like the bread uh, itself. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think with tomatoes, the uglier the tomato, the better it tastes. Well, we say ugly, but they are interesting all in their own way, right? Oh, that was so, sweet of oh. you. That's so diplomatic. Yeah. You're not ugly, baby. No, you're not ugly. You're yeah, special uh, you're in interesting. your own way. <laughs> yes, you're interesting. So yellow tomatoes, if you like, but I have enough over here. Okay. Green onions. Uh -huh. Lots of it. I love green onion with tomatoes. I mean, I'm, I go crazy for that. Now, salt. Mm -hmm. Why? 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 Brings okay. out the Why? It brings no, out the flavor. No, it doesn't bring. Well, they're um, not very flavorful otherwise. But you know, all acid the water. Acid with salt. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Well, no, no. I mean, the acidity they, they, with the salt. They work the together. The salt would burst all of the little Why? cells containing all the juices of uh, of the tomato, so they That's start what I running. Meant. That's what I mean. You know, when you're making a tomato salad, you know yeah. that in the bottom you have a lot of juice, right? Okay. I hear so. It. I, and I'm going to take a lot of flack from this because I like a little touch of vinegar in my tomatoes. I don't know why, but uh, it's something that, that? I, I don't know. A lot of people that are tomato fanatics, they don't like to put some uh, vinegar in it. Do you have a problem with it. that, guys? <coughs> That's fine. I don't okay, mind okay. that at all. So, pepper and, and toss, toss, toss. Now, this salad here can be made well ahead of the dinner. So, if you have guests, you really want to impress them. Look, that's been there for like 15 minutes and it's nice and soft now. Oh, it looks and beautiful. And it's still going to retain a lot of crispness, okay? So it's going to be absolutely delicious. So you just stack it up, load it up with all of the juices. Don't worry about it. The bread will soak it up Yeah. and really become nice and delicious. Are we so, eating it with a knife and a fork? Uh, yeah, you can eat it with a knife and a fork. Don't absolutely. order this on your first date. It's not one of those, it's not one of those meals. Why not? That's going to get messy. Oh, you want to see how... 
the person handles the food, right? Oh, maybe. Like, come on. Yeah, maybe. Order I took my wife to a uh, Chinese restaurant and she didn't know how to use chopsticks, man. She learned quick. At, <laughs> yeah, she learned quick. <laughs> that is true. It's a good test. You're on your own, girl. Start eating. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I like on top of this is a little bit of, oh, and uh, olives. Olives. Uh, throw olives some olives around. Good. Yeah, throw some olives around. Just like that. And. A ricotta salata, which is a pressed ricotta with salt in it, yeah. or uh, feta cheese. Yeah, it almost looks I like mean, a feta, on. that one. Feta cheese and tomatoes. Oh, give me a break. That how, looks how much so better good. can you get? Eh? Okay, order it on your first oh, date. It'll be yeah, a great test. Yeah, absolutely. We are putting this recipe on our website. Uh, check us out at cityline.ca. We're headed to break. More coming.